Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Yep, I know this game is outdated, but there hasn't been any new games released recently. I have a feeling that 2009 is gonna be a boring year for gaming. Now before I start, the game only features 60 Hz mode, and you know what that means? Yes, some of the colors will go out of focus when the DVD recorder is turned on. Ugh. Please, stop making games not featuring 50 Hz mode. Anyway, Star Wars The Force Unleashed is a fun adventure beat-em-up. Just like the title says, Force Unleashed, you can use the Force to perform moves. Let's just do a control rundown. You walk with the left joystick, jump with A, attack with the lightsaber with X, use the Force to push with B, send lighting out of your fingertips with Y, grab items with the right trigger, which is a very good trick, because you can levitate almost anything in the game, and use the left and right joystick to move and throw the object around. Okay, back to the controller right now. You hold the left trigger to protect yourself. While holding the left trigger, you can also do other actions that appear in the corner. Now you can press X to throw your lightsaber like a boomerang. Press B to do force explosion, very effective when you're surrounded by stormtroopers. And you can press Y to make some kind of lighting shield. Why? And yes, the A button does jack f you start the game off as Darth Vader, and you're pretty much invincible and walk dreadfully slowly. When you get to the first boss, you will realize that the dual system actually works really good. It's not just keep tapping the X button constantly, you sometimes have to block or dodge attacks. And when the enemy is lying on the ground, you can even swing it around for a while. In the rest of the game, you control Darth Vader's secret apprentice. In other words, it's a random guy who no one cares about. The cutscenes in this game are really good. But wait, these cutscenes are actually pre-rendered. I don't see the point, I mean the Xbox could sure render these graphics. Well, I think it's because of the loading times. They wanted the levels to be loaded while viewing the cutscenes. As you fight this barely visible bar in the top left corner between the green and blue bars slowly grows. And when it's full, you get some spears that you can use to upgrade yourself. There are also tons of cool combos that you can learn, and they are performed by pressing X, Y, and B in different orders. You know what pisses me off about this game? There are so many versions of it. First of all, it was originally made for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, of course that wasn't enough. They even got another company to port it over to the Wii. Well, that's okay, the free current gen consoles. But no, that's not enough. They even had to port it over to the PS2. That's a last gen console, why do people keep making games on it? But wait, I'm not done. Unfortunately, they ported it over to the handheld console DS. And even on the PSP. And even an extremely poor version on the iPod Touch. It's considered to be the whole game, but I doubt. Oh great. Seven versions. Seriously? They are probably releasing so many versions of this game, just make sure that no one's not able to get it. Now I have to say, this game feels a bit unfinished. The stages are too long, there are not enough stages, and the game itself is just too short. It's not way too short, but I would expect at least 3 hours more. There are also some annoying glitches, and it's way too easy to fall through the ground or get stuck in the scenery. I think this game should need some more production time to get rid of the glitches and build some more levels. I'm sure the thing the developers focused the most on was making an awesome force engine as I explained earlier in the review. Everything from destruction to enemies grabbing each other when you lift them up, this game has lifelike reaction and an amazing force engine. I wonder what this game is inspired by. Now I have to say that my favorite Star Wars game is LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Yes, I have the Wii version, and I know the Xbox 360 version is slightly better, but it's really amazing. My second favorite must be The Force Unleashed. But wait, there's more! If you go to the pause menu, you can actually enter different codes to unlock customs. If you enter TK421Y, you get to control a stormtrooper, or well, you only end up looking like one. But it's still really funny. Check this out, Darth Maul custom. <laughs> this is another code you can enter. Spell Mastermind and you will get an Emperor custom. 
Ugh, the emperor is so ugly. Go kill yourself! Yay! But wait, there's even some downloadable content. I was able to download a whole new stage, the Jedi Temple. Let's try it out. Okay, so you land with a huge slam into the ground. And now you already know that the difficulty in this level is legendary. There are endlessly of enemies. I know I'm supposed to move these two pins up in order to open the door, but I can't because the enemies keep shooting me, and I can't get rid of them. Ugh. Let's try this again. Ugh, stop it! Okay, let's try this again. Ugh. Well, that's all I can take. Don't get me wrong, Star Wars The Force Unleashed is a great and underrated game. Yes, this game gets too much bad critics. It's an awesome game.